everyone. Uh, it's Kirsten here, technical educator intern here at Web3 Foundation. And today we're going to be learning how to back up and to restore your accounts. So the first way that we're going to do that is using the Polkadot.js user interface. We're going to first make sure that we're on the correct URL, so polkadot.js.org slash apps. And currently I'm on the accounts page, so um, it's best if you head there too. Uh, so that's underneath accounts, and then you click the accounts button. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to select an account that we're going to back up. I'm going to select the Kirsten proxy account here at the bottom, and I'm going to hit on the three dots, and I'm going to hit create backup file for this account. So I'm going to enter in my password that's associated with that account and hit download. And what this will do is generate the JSON file that's associated with that account, and it will save it locally. So at this point, I have the backup file for my um, proxy account here. So what I'm going to do is now restore the account because I've just backed it up. I'm going to actually forget this account. So click on forget. And what this will do is remove my account from the UI. So in order to restore the JSON, I'm going to restore JSON. And so now I'm going to um, upload the generated JSON file um, that I saved locally when I um, backed up my account. Cool. And now I'll enter in the password that's associated with my account. And there we go. So now, um, as you can see, the uh, proxy account that I backed up and then deleted and then restored is now back on the UI. And that is how you can back up and restore your account on Polkadot.js. The next way that we can back up and restore our accounts is using the Polkadot.js browser extension. So the browser extension is recommended for most users. Um, the UI is a, has a little bit of risk when you back up and restore accounts, but the browser extension is very easy to use, and we're going to be using that right now to back up and restore our account. And it's very similar to the way that we um, did it on the UI. So I'm going to open up the browser extension. Um, if you don't have this downloaded, that's OK. Um, if you head over to the Polkadot Wiki page um, for generating accounts, it will, there's instructions on there on how to download uh, the browser extension. So I'm going to select an account that I first want to back up. And that's going to be this top one here, this Kirsten extension. So the first thing that I'm going to do, click on the three dots, and I'm going to hit on export account. And this will generate that JSON file that's associated for that account that holds all of the, um, the details that I can use to restore it. I'm just going to hit on that. And I'm going to enter in the password for this account. Perfect. So now um, this JSON file has just been downloaded for this Kirsten extension account. So right now I just backed up my account. And to restore it, I'm first going to, to remove the account from my browser extension. So I'm going to hit on forget account. There we go. And now I'm going to restore that account on the browser extension. So I'm going to click on the plus button here. And I'm going to hit on restore account from back on JSON, backup JSON file. And once again, I'm going to upload that generated JSON file that I save locally right here. All right, so now I've um, uploaded the backup JSON file. I'm also going to enter in the password that's associated with that account. And then I'm going to hit restore. Perfect. And now we can see that our backed up account, Kirsten extension, has now been restored on the browser extension. Another way that you can back up and restore your account is using Parity Signer. When I open up Parity Signer, I can see my identity name or account name at the top, and I can see the various networks that I'm connected to. 
To back up my account, I'm going to click on the top right icon button. On this page, I will click on Add Identity. All right, so on this page, um, it asks to input a brand new identity to be created. But instead, we're going to be recovering an existing identity that exists. So we're going to go ahead and click on that button. Now it's going to ask us what the identity name is of our backed up account. And it's going to ask us in this pink box um, what the mnemonic seed is for the account that we are backing up. So I'm going to just input those details. And now it's going to ask me for a pin. This pin will be used to unlock my backed up account on Parity Signer. And that's it. Now I've successfully backed up and restored my account and I can choose from any of these networks that I want to connect to. And that's how you can back up and restore your account on Parity Signer.